We're back again with another action-packed edition of sports this morning. Reaching you live from Channel Television Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for joining me. My name is Austin Okonakwa. We welcome our viewers in Benin, Abuja, and of course to you wherever you are in the world watching sports this morning on Channel Television and Let's Talk Sports. Who's been working with us on this journey? I keep asking that question as we talk about the drama series going on in the Nigerian Football Federation. NFL Drama Series 28. What's in the menu this morning? Yeah, we will zoom in just. Remember, the quote, I quote in just um, last week, Thursday, nullified the elections that brought in um, Amatu Pinnick and a new NFL board. Uh, he says that that election was null and void and that Chris Giwa should get back to office. Um, to um, Justice Ambrose Alagua, we sit this morning to give his ruling on whether or not the court has a jurisdiction to listen to football matters. That um, hearing started yesterday and it was adjourned till today. So today we will get to know where, whether or not the court has a jurisdiction. Remember, the Nigerian Football Federation filed a preliminary objection um, that the court shouldn't go on with that matter. Should the court establish that they can entertain football matters, then it means the NFL needs to appeal. Where is the time for all of this? Remember, FIFA says 12 noon Friday. If all of this crisis is not resolved, Nigeria will be banned. The Minister of Sports, Tamit Anagogo, is still preaching his gospel of peace. Amadou Pinnick is ready to embrace peace now. And then Chris Giwa says he's not going to do anything that is not in the interest of football in Nigeria football giving us reasons to talk sports but it is the drama series going on in the nigerian football federation we'll get to talk more about that as we go on with the show now let's leave football and talk about weightlifting remember our weightlifters they did so well at the commonwealth games in glasgow scotland weightlifting gave nigeria two gold medals one silver four silver and one bronze these weightlifters have been preparing, hoping to compete at the World Weightlifting Championship that will take place on the 6th of November in Almaty, Kazakhstan. But as I speak to you, they are still in the dark because no one, I tell you, no one is speaking to them for the National Sports Commission. I spoke to Coach Emmanuel Oshoma. He says no word. I spoke to Miriam Usman. No word. All the wrestlers, all the weightlifters don't know what's going on. And you know why this is important? It is important they attend that weightlifting championship in Almaty, Kazakhstan. It is the qualifying competition for the World 2016 Olympics. Tough times of sports in Nigeria. We'll talk about it today on the program. Let's go to England. The Capital One Cup. They bring so much drama. That's it. Manuel Pellegrini is a sad man. Manchester City down and out after losing to Newcastle by two goals to nothing. Right there at the Etihad Stadium. Who saw that result coming? No one. That means we're going to have a cracker when Manchester City and Manchester United meet in the English Premier League. We just love it. Let's leave football now and go to tennis where Andy Murray is just one more win away from qualifying for the ATP Tour Finals. And Murray is within just one match of securing his place in the ATP World Tour Finals after his impasse. Local favorite Julian Benetton, 6-3, 6-4 on Wednesday to advance to the third round of the Paris Masters. Good one for Andy Murray and his quest of qualifying for the ATP to finals. Let's come back to Nigeria, where of course it's nothing but the drama going on in Nigerian football. Amatu Pinnick has been preaching peace. The sports minister that's been his gospel from the start. Chris Giwa says, case is not in my hands. It's in the hands of the court. Let the court decide. But I will not do anything that is not in the interest of football in Nigeria. But where will all of this take us to? FIFA says 12 noon, Friday. Time is ticking. What's the word of this? Amadou Pinnick has been speaking, and then the sports minister also. Let's listen to them as regards all of these issues going on in the Nigerian Football Federation. I will come back. We'll talk to stay. It's a big family, and the family there, 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 there are squabbles within members of the family. So but we are going to resolve it and meet the fifth hour's deadline. And I, I pray and I hope that we're able to do that, so that we return football to where football is. The country is very passionate about football development. Nigeria is extremely, extremely passionate about it. So we do our best in making sure that uh, in making sure that. Um, we, we we do the right thing, we do the best, taking all interest into cognizance and making sure that this does not repeat itself again. It's not every four years we keep having deserving that we perfect the legislation on the NFA and NFF Act. 
you know, which also says that you shouldn't go to court, you should go to CAS if you have cases, and so on and so forth. Those are the things that we were setting out to achieve. Ordinarily, we are not meant to go to ordinary court, you know, but the, 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 if you wish, you can also go because the Nigerian law is supreme. There's no way you will get the Nigerian law. Because, because you are signed into FIFA, you are meant to respect FIFA legislation, FIFA laws. If we are not signed into FIFA, we say go to hell. But you are signed into FIFA, you are signed into CAF. It's like you are an association, you say you are signed into this association. So you need to respect their laws also, but not at the detriment of your own law, which of course is supreme and that's why you exist. So it's a situation that you have to manage tactfully, you know, and that is all what we are doing. You know, not wanting to say Nigerian laws are not important in this regard, they are. But you should also look at the situation whereby you look at the, the bigger picture, you know. So, but then I believe Gila will see a reason why he should withdraw the case and concentrate on the one in cast. And see if that one in cast favors him, is his luck, you know. Then, but if he doesn't, then he should work with us. This is the time when every sports lover in Nigeria, every citizen indeed, should do everything possible to make sure that there is unity, there is peace in the football family and generally in the sports family. Be it government, be it the judiciary, be it the legislature, all of us, the stakeholders, the sportsmen and women, all of us, we need to see that all our efforts are geared towards ensuring peace and unity. Because without peace and unity, actually, it will be difficult for us to make success. We are working for that. There are court cases. Well, those are, these are issues that are subjudice. I may not comment on them because, you know, when you talk too much on court matters, it may land you in trouble. Uh -huh. But I believe that sooner than you expect, we will have peace. We will have unity. We are working for that. And by the grace of God, so that's it, Mr. Sports in Nigeria, Tammy Danagogo. On the line, our last part, by the grace of God, uh, peace will come to Nigerian football. That's all the country is looking towards now, the grace of God to ensure that peace and stability comes back to uh, football in Nigeria. Because as we speak, 12 noon Friday is not far away. So that's it, NFL drama series, giving us our reasons to talk sports. Uh, the series in its, in its 828th episode it comes up every wednesday and thursday on channels television and we've come this far with the uh, issues going on in nigerian football just to show you how long we've been dragging um this crisis going on in the nff leadership we don't want it it should go so that we can enjoy the beauty of football and um, what it can bring to the development of sports in Nigeria. We welcome you wherever you are watching us. Yes, you can be part of this show. This show, we keep telling you, is designed for you. You want to talk to us. Yes, you can talk to us on Twitter. We're channels underscore sports. And on Facebook, we're channels hyphen sports. We've been getting loads of emails. I'm compiling those emails. One day we will read all of them on the program. You want to write us an email? Please do. It's sports this morning at channelstv.com. That's the feedback mechanism. You can talk to us. Questions, comments, suggestions. What's the way out of this crisis going on in Nigerian football? Come on, guys. We love the game so much. Some people shouldn't hold it to ransom. And then uh, we start wondering um, with FIFA, uh, we ban us today or ban us tomorrow. And then we don't even know who to call the NFF president. No, we don't want it. We're coming together as one voice, lovers of football, and particularly for the development of sports in Nigeria to say peace to return to the country's football. And that's what we want. Sports this morning on Channel Television. Thanks for joining us once again. Tell us, Salam joins us now. Tell good to have you on the program. Yeah. Good morning, man. Austin, mm. man. Just when I thought it was getting boring, mm. that is the NFL drama series and something really that, that could be potentially exciting. We came up this morning, man. We can't should be rumored. <laughs> Yeah. Especially being rumored to be back mm. as, a, as a coach of the Super mm. Eagles. And mm. if that's the case, mm. that means Nigeria will have two national teams again mm. to go um, alongside them, um, the two NFL factions. Mm. Incredible. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not laughable. It's something we need to work about. I've been trying to put a call uh, through to Coach Stephen Keshe. He's not willing to talk. He's not taking calls. But I'm sure when, when, when it comes down, he's going to let us know the, thru, the true situation of things. Is Keshe back as coach of the Super Eagles, what happens to Amadou Shwaibu has been called in on interim basis. What's going to happen to all of the shuffling that has happened in the Nigerian Football Federation? 
we'll keep going back and forth and that's not what we want for our football we want peace and stability so when well, we confirm that cash is talk trust channels television this is your place for um what do I call it? Genuine news yeah. and updates as regards sports um, in Nigeria and, of course, um, the world. So let's come back to Nigeria. Let's leave yeah. the NFF crisis. Yes. That one stays. Remember, today in just the, the, the court will sit again. Justice Ambrose Alagua is supposed to give a ruling. Remember, the NFF filed for preliminary objection that the court does not have the jurisdiction to listen to court matters. Yesterday, the court sat and then the case was adjourned. Till today, the justice will sit today to say whether or not the court can and if the court establishes that it can then it means tire that the nfl should start thinking of a way to appeal that case yeah that's that's what they will have to do that's the natural um natural um, thing for them to do but then we have to wait until the um, until the hearing until the before uh we know what, what's next now what we know for sure is that tomorrow uh fifa uh, mm. will make down pronouncements mm. and, uh, it could be uh, very uh, bad for the country really bad that's yeah. not what we want and not just bad embarrassing that's what coach samson says here described it as very embarrassing and that the entire world will be laughing at nigeria we're supposed to be giants of africa we are champions of africa talking about football and a lot of this going on not so good for the country it's not just football and that's why we need to sit up and ensure that sports development in this country is on point weightlifting remember the commonwealth games remember weight our weightlifters did so well even the power lifters did so well just for Chika Mahala and the issues of, of doping and all of that coming up, weightlifting did so well. Two gold medals, four silver, and one bronze. They expected, or rather, after the Commonwealth Games, they were preparing to go for the World Championships in Amity in Kazakhstan. And as we speak to you, no preparation of any sort. The National Sports Commission is not speaking to the Weightlifting Federation or the weightlifters. They're just kept in the dark. Tire, really sad. Yeah unfortunate and it's a shame really um one would have thought after the very good performance in, at the commonwealth game so medals in total mm. um it, it will, the next thing would have been consolidating and how do you consolidate in that kind of performance mm -hmm. it's actually by actually going on into um, all these other competitions and doing well for the country and unfortunately um this time around uh, preparations um it's not there at all. Uh, we can't see any on ground. And um, the guys are not ready. They won't be going. They might not just go out to the World Championship. And um, the implications of that will be very great because uh, it means you know miss out on the Olympics, which is in real. And uh, you wonder how do you want the sport to develop yeah. if. Um, if, the, if the athletes can't continue participating because the only way they can get better is to compete. An athlete that doesn't compete will remain uh, uh, at the same level. Yeah, Tayo, and it's so worrisome because the World Championship in Amity, Kazakhstan, is a qualifying event the for the World 2016 Olympics. Yes. So it means should Nigeria miss out of this? We won't have weightlifters at the Olympic yeah, Games. Yeah, and that's a shame because we know weightlifting right now, it, it, it happens to be one of the sports where Nigeria is actually very strong. Mm. So uh, you wonder why why we're not doing enough. I mean, why the authorities are not talking away because I'm, I'm not in charge. I mean, the authorities are not doing enough to actually help them uh, progress uh, in, in the sport. And it's a real shame. Like I said, I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope they can still find something uh, to do so these um, athletes can actually represent Nigeria mm. at the World Championship. And also, you know, Let's talk about the sports and policy. I know there's a written one, but it doesn't seem to be working. Mm. That's the issue. It's, it's, it's all good having um, policies on paper, but if it's not working and we can't see it actually helping Nigerian um, sports um, go forward in the right direction, then what's the point? Mm.